Crossplay and input based matchmaking, something that the community has wanted since day one of bringing this game to PC, but the way they're implementing it brings me some concerns. In this video, we're going to discuss just that, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it really helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So one of the most exciting features going to be implemented into the MCC in 2020 is crossplay, being able to play with PC and console at the same time. Something I've wanted since Oh, since the game was announced on PC, it's something we've been wanting and now we finally get a chance to hopefully get to experience it when Halo 4 flights. But there are some concerns coming with that new implementation because with crossplay comes input based matchmaking and the way that 343 is implementing this does bring me some concerns. Because the way 343 is doing crossplay is they're doing it as a per playlist thing rather than giving the player the option to do so. One game that comes to my mind instantly when it comes to crossplay games is definitely the new Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare, where you can just turn on or turn off crossplay. If you only want to play against console players, you can play against console players. If you only want to play against PC players, well, you can do just that. Well, with MCC, it won't be that straightforward. Now, the reason why 343 has not given players options for crossplay is because they don't want to divide up the player base too much. MCC already already has a rather small community and giving players more divisions when it comes to connecting with each other honestly would probably hinder the experience of matchmaking rather than actually improve it by implementing crossplay. So basically the way they're going to be doing it in the less competitive mode, say like Firefight and also Infection that they mentioned, it'd be full crossplay no matter what. Uh, there's not going to be any kind of limitations with that because there, you know, no one really cares if you get like 300 kills in Infection or if you're playing with a controller or mouse when it comes to uh, Firefight. Where it really does matter is your more competitive modes like your Slayers and also your hardcore matches as well. And the way they made it sound like, or basically the only time you ever get come across any kind of cross-play action is when you're already in a party, you select your device and then you go searching. So if you say, if I'm playing with my buddy who's on Xbox and I'm on PC playing with mouse and keyboard, obviously they're playing with the controller. That's the only time it sounds like we'll get mixed lobbies. And if you're searching solo queue and you're like, I'm only doing controller or I'm only doing mouse and keyboard, then you'll probably only be matching against those similar kind of players which does on the surface sound really great though this to me just sounds like it's going to be more divisions within that playlist that make it harder to find matches in the recent august mcc development update they go into some details about this but they don't really mention if you're if you're playing with just keyboard and mouse solo queuing if you'll ever come across anybody who's playing controller on say the xbox or anything like that which i think the big point of having crossplay is the benefit of pooling the player base together so you can play more games that you normally wouldn't be able to say like for me for example I basically can't find any ranked matches because I didn't get ranked up high enough because I played too much social or I can't play some social games at certain times because there's just not enough people playing like free for all or infection as well or even griffball the more niche modes I can't find any matches the whole point of bringing in crossplay is so then we get more people to play together now obviously they do mention about how some would be unaffected by crossplay, pretty much just no input based matchmaking whatsoever. But is there going to be some kind of threshold, say, if you're searching for more than like two minutes or something like that for a match, then it will open up the crossplay so you can join in and play with console players if I know I'm playing on PC? Uh, yeah, I would like to know those kind of details because um, right now it seems like what they're mentioning is that it's only going to be crossplay matchmaking if you're already cross playing with your friends, which then concerns me even more when it comes the matchmaking times as me as a PC player because I really like playing with mouse and keyboard. Yes, I know controller is a more optimal way to play the MCC and more people play on controller, I would say, than mouse and keyboard. That's just been my experience when playing. And it just seems like I would divide up the PC player base even more to make it even harder to find matches. Again, we just need to find more details about this, but these are my concerns when it comes to crossplay in the MCC. I mean, currently right now, I'm okay with doing the per playlist options. I just really want to know more about crossplay that if you're searching after a certain amount of time, if you're going to be mixed in with different crossplay lobbies, or if you're searching on PC, looking for mouse and keyboard, you will only find mouse and keyboard, that's going to really make things slow down for matchmaking. So those are essentially my concerns when it comes to crossplay in MCC. Now, 
They do say they will flight this and have been invited to every flight since Halo Reach. So I would expect to be a part of these flights. I will definitely give you guys all the little details if we learn anything more or once those flights actually happen and I get my hands on that, we'll definitely get to jump in and play a bit of that as well. So if you want to catch those videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. If you like these videos, make sure to tap that like button. Check out the videos on the screen right over here if you've missed any content for me for the last few days or so. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.